Monroe, world leader in shock absorbers, has always focused all of its efforts in research and development to improve vehicle driving safety. Everybody knows that shock absorbers are a key element of the car's road holding ability. It adds to the braking, the handling and the stability of the vehicle. In addition to advanced engineering research, Monroe improves its new technologies with professional driving tests. Besides the shock absorber, there are also two elements that are essential to the suspension system. The top mount, composed of a metal to rubber plate, helps to reduce the vibrations between the shock absorber and the chassis. This top mount also hosts a bearing, which allows rotation of the wheels. This assembly composes the mounting kit. The compression bumper, whose role is to limit travel of the piston rod, is composed of a high-performance material, polyurethane foam. It is associated with a rubber dirt shield to constitute the protection kit. Those elements are rarely checked when replacing shock absorbers. This is why it is very important to stress, through static and dynamic tests, the consequences of their degradation to driving safety. On the road, a worn-out mounting kit could be the cause of many issues. The road holding will be badly affected, and the vehicle will not track evenly when taking a curve. With a new mounting kit, when you take a curve and then release the steering wheel, the vehicle comes back to a straight line. With a worn-out mounting kit, by making the save movement, the vehicle deviates from the straight line. The steering movement is blocked at 15 degrees, and then the driver needs to manually turn the steering wheel to go back on line. For static tests, we use a dynamometric steering wheel, measuring the torque and the steering angle. It's then easy to check degradation of the precision in the trajectory and the extra effort needed from the driver. Indeed, during these tests, the worn-out bearing increases the steering effort by more than 20%. Let's turn our interest now to the protection kit. The wave test at 80 km an hour evaluates the progressivity of damping. In this type of test, the protection kit takes strong compressions. Thus, we see a large difference between a vehicle equipped with a new protection kit and a vehicle equipped with a worn out protection kit. With this last car, the lack of damping can, in extreme conditions, lead to lifting of the wheels from the ground. Finally, the paved road test at low speed. This shows the combined effects of worn-out protection kits and mounting kits. Indeed, with this configuration, the noise level increases in the car and vibrations recorded are superior to 25%. This leads to a quicker fatigue of the driver, which can affect speed of judgment in a crucial situation. In conclusion, when changing shock absorbers, it is important to visually check and inspect the mounting kit and the protection kit. Indeed, deterioration of these components will be due to different parameters. Road, rain, snow, grit and different projections. Impacts due to road obstacles met daily, such as holes or sleeping policemen. And also, long distance journeys on motorways. The greater the wear on these parts, the more vibration and noise they transmit to the vehicle. The firmer they are, the better they can absorb unequal road surfaces. Their replacement contributes greatly to the comfort and handling of the car, and thus, the safety. Monroe, making the road a safer place.